Side effects are a change to the state of the app that happens outside the scope of a composable function. For example, these are useful when we want to navigate to another skin or to show a bottom sheet. Let's start by talking about the launch effect that launches a coroutine when it enters into the composition. If it has multiple keys and one changes, the existing coroutine will be cancelled and the new suspend function will be launched in a new coroutine. Now we have the remember coroutine scope that also launches a coroutine and for example, we can use it to show the keyboard when the user presses the done button on their keyboard. The side effect is called on each successful composition and if the composition fails this block of code it won't execute. For example if we want to create a timer we have to use the side effect otherwise when we are increasing the timer it won't trigger a composition. The disposable effect is used to detect cancellation. If one of the keys changes the composable needs to do the cleanup. For example this could be useful if we want to track the user location only when the app is open. The arrive state of its use on a certain state is calculated or derived from other state objects. This will trigger whenever one of the states used in the calculation changes. For example, we have a filter SCP list that filters whenever the state of the filter changes. Produce state converts the non-composed state into composed state and it launches a coroutine. For example, we have a counter variable that has an initial value of 0 and after 2 seconds it gets a value of 4. The snapshot flow is used to convert the composed state objects into a call flow. For example, this is useful when we want to display a floating action button whenever we scroll down in a list. If you like this video, follow me for more content like this.